gust of wind to finish to start the vlog. I should say end the vlog. Uh, we're ending the gonna, we're, we're, when we're going to my parents' house for Thanksgiving. We're ending the vlog for a long uh, one-day weekend. <coughs> and uh, we'll be starting the vlog on the way back. If, uh, as I, uh, if it doesn't rain, I'll be scooting back. And uh, we'll start the vlog uh, for Monday, even though it's going to be late evening. Although I do have the, uh, I do have the uh, stick, uh, which turns into a tripod, a selfie stick that turns into a tripod, and I can do, uh, start the vlog like that and have uh, the going home be the midway section, so that uh, you'll get a scooter ride either way. So, and that's the goal is get you know, change up the place of the vlogs. I'm getting a lot more comfortable with this. Let's see, do I make the light or not? Let's see when I get there. No, I'm not making the light. Uh, a lot more comfortable on the scooter. A fair amount of traffic for uh, a, a holiday holiday uh, day is Canadian Thanksgiving today. So Oh, well, not too too bad the traffic on my place on my end anyways. Uh, Steels is always busy. This is this is uh, <clears throat> to the east is, is uh, a rather large Chinatown that stretches for oh well, basically a whole chunk a whole uh, suburb. the other way so I've got to wait for everything. This guy didn't give me much room. I just tried to squeeze by. The problem is this is the problem with squeezing by. And it's typically the smaller trucks and the smaller cars will do this. They'll try to squeeze by, but there's not enough room on that because they cause they misjudge things. This is how bad accidents happen. <sighs> Typically, you don't pass people in the intersection. You pass them after the intersection or significantly before not at or during the intersection. And that's just bad driving. And typically those, those drivers are impatient. It's, it's, it's an issue of patience. I mean, going around me would have taken all of maybe 10 seconds. But they don't consider that. A lot of times, and again, these people are typically very selfish people because they don't consider anybody else's uh, perspective other than their own. They're the one who's right. That's about it. The way they go. So they do no wrong because in their own mind, they're always right. There's a significant bit of wind out today, so I'm sort of gauging my, uh, my uh, discussion, conversation, 
uh, depending on how bad the wind is. Because if you don't, if you can't hear me over the wind, and I know sometimes the wind does get bad. I've, I've, I've watched the vlogs back. And I know I have to speak at a louder volume in order for me to be heard. So I'm doing that, and as close as I can to the camera or to the phone. Uh, it's just the camera, not the phone. The, the GoPro. So that uh, I should be able to be heard even over the wind. But that kind of remains to be seen. So I'm going to Thanksgiving for Thanksgiving to my parents' house. Uh, bad wind. Very bad wind right now. I should spend the day there with my brother and his family. A little bit of a mistake. I put my bad leg down first instead of uh, bad ankle down first rather than the. Uh, Start off here. I had to be careful right now which angle I put down first, or the right angle is the bad one. I put that one down first. I had to put the uh, good angle down first. But it takes a couple weeks for, for everything to heal up properly, so it's significantly better than it was before, but still, there are still some sensitivity issues, and I don't want to aggravate it any further than by. Uh, by using it more than using it more than necessary. my face and make my nose run. <laughs> so I'm gonna, the next light I get to stop at, I'm going to have to blow my nose. This is one of the more picturesque routes. If you notice that when I come back at night, there's not really that much uh, in terms of foliage and trees. Uh, so this is a very nice road, even though it's a main road. Uh, uh, it's very nice, it's very picturesque. And this is at a time when they uh, had enough room in the city that uh, they weren't building houses one right on top of each other. So they're large backyards, decent sized houses, and so they left a lot of trees and foliage. Uh, that were there from the farms that were there before. And now, because it's been so long, it's been all oh, these 30 years anyways, uh, a large chunk of trees now are old growth. And they have that older characteristic to them that uh, the younger trees will eventually have. drivers are pretty good. It's the odd driver that doesn't, that is anxious, that will cause the problem.
buildings have a wind, wind, wind profile all their own. So Linda will be stopping at Finch. And uh, I'm going to leave you all the way down to uh, my place. But this is a door-to-door -door vlog. <laughs> Not to blow my nose. I stand while I'm waiting for the light to change. It's going to change now, so let's get in position and let's get down. Almost hit that pot. There's a pothole right there. Deep divot. Uh, bad for the handlebars, bad for the wheels. Uh, so. Not as windy, I should say. Quincy is still a very bumpy road. talking about. A lot of times on the bike you, you, have to, you have to use your entire body. And if you're out of shape, you haven't ridden for a while, even after two years, uh, <laughs> your body gets kind of soft. So I understand how Clinton feels about, you know, the limited rides. Too late to beep back. Someone beeped at me and they're just saying hi, but uh, <laughs> not gonna happen.
prettiest people. But there are also the rules of the world, so I let the guy go ahead. Because he was there first. and starts. That works. Hey dude. Well, it's just about 11 o'clock on October 12th, 2020. I'm not too sure whether this is the end of the vlog, well, the, the mid-section the mid of the vlog or the beginning of the vlog. It really depends on how long the weekend vlog ends up being. If there's enough time, the weekend vlog, uh, uh, the the stuff I shot in the morning, the scooter ride I shot in the morning, will go from being uh, the end point of the vlog uh, for Saturday and Sunday to being the opening for today. 
and then tomorrow we'll have in tomorrow's uh, well Tuesday's video we'll have a video of me coming back I didn't come back today by scooter uh, from my parents house at uh, we ended up having uh, turkey for th uh, for Thanksgiving and I had th this is beside the point but I had three glasses of uh, a, a white wine called Ritzine that's a Greek wine and enough turkey it was, it was I was sufficiently filled but the tryptophan in in, in Turkey hit me and made me to the uh, groggy to the point where it was hard keeping my eyes open uh, it just brought out a lot of the fatigue that was already there. And so that was too dangerous to, to try and uh, scoot back. So uh, my dad ended up driving me back. And so he'll pick me up tomorrow. And tomorrow night the weather should be clear. And I'll come back uh, tomorrow night by scooter. So uh, tomorrow night uh, will be a, uh, to, for, for Tuesday, Tuesday Tuesday's vlog. Uh, we'll actually have the uh, scooter... Uh, we'll, we'll also have one, but it's a scooter coming back. So it really depends on how the uh, Saturday and Sunday vlog ends up being in terms of uh, length-wise. But well, I don't know for a couple weeks. Uh, right now, we're just about three weeks out. I'm going to try to push up the uh, <coughs> the production schedule in terms of editing and putting out. I'm probably going to try to do two a day. Just to knock off a week so that we're uh, that the uh, vlogs only be two weeks in terms of when they're going up, won't be two weeks behind uh, uh, the when they're shot, so they're not too much of a distance. Other vloggers do do the the month and month and sometimes even uh, longer, they do a month, month and a half uh, from the time they shoot the video to uh, when they post it, but uh, I think it's better. To be as current as possible, but at the same time giving yourself space in case there are things that end up messing up. The schedule messes up. Like this is what happened a week weekend. The schedule just kind of got messed up. I was planning to vlog on my way back uh, and open the video doing that, uh, having my return on the scooter uh, be the opening video, but it just didn't work out. So this is uh, in place. Of the YouTube of the uh, of the vlog that would have occurred if I uh, had taken the scooter back. But see, I still can't keep my eyes open. I did a portion of the YouTube stroll. Uh, I'm not going to do all the YouTube stroll right now because I'm too tired and I'm going to go to end up going to bed very very soon because I can't keep my eyes open. So I'm just going to do maybe one more vlog and on the standard path because. I missed a day. I missed Sunday. I didn't do a, a, a YouTube stroll on Sunday. Uh, so I now have to catch up. So it's going to take it's going to take some sort of uh, some type of uh, sort of finesse to sort of figure out where we are in terms of uh, uh, the where the clips should go and, and, and how they should be arranged. And I'll just sort of uh, put a note uh, in the uh, opening part of the video of the open part of the clip letting you know that this that this is uh, uh, now the opening of the vlog for Monday, rather than being the, rather than being uh, the closing uh, uh, segment for uh, uh, the weekend vlog. Even though I say it in there, uh, I'll do the correction uh, via uh, a sort of like a text up here or a text over there. It depends on where uh, where that will end up going. Well, it is Tuesday, October 13th, and uh, we're up to do some uh, gaming and some meditation. As per our usual schedule, schedule and uh, because we are doing this before uh, we are gaming, this is the end of the vlog for uh, Monday and Tuesday, over the two days. Uh, that compromise our 24-hour day. We began at 5 o'clock in the morning. Uh, 
Or we were supposed to begin on 5 o'clock in the morning, on, on, on Monday morning, but we didn't do that. Uh, I held off until uh, I did the scooting uh, around noon to start the vlog. But uh, I don't know whether the, not that uh, is going to constitute a beginning or not, because uh, it was initially supposed to be... Uh, the ending vlog for the weekend, but uh, it really depends on how much content there is over the weekend. If there's too much content over the weekend, then uh, it moves forward to an opening uh, for uh, Monday, uh, because it is a rather lengthy uh, ride, about uh, 15 minutes. So uh, we'll see what happens. I'm not really, I'm not too sure what's going to happen, but. Uh, uh, when we get there, we'll get there. <laughs> Currently, we're about three weeks out. I intend to sort of shorten the gap uh, between the time we film and the time uh, and, and the time we publish. Uh, I want to get it down to about two weeks. Uh, I think two weeks is sufficient because there is issues with editing. There's a, there's a number of issues that sort of uh, pop up. Uh, uh, in terms of leaving a two-week cushion just in case something happens so that you always, ha always have a supply of material on hand to edit and so on and so forth. So uh, I think I think that's going to be uh, a bit of a task to do because we have to up upload a, a, a two vlogs per day. Uh, but given at this point in time the number of people who are viewing, which are very little, uh, I think the best option would be to uh, do the two a day, get them out of the way, and then uh, sort of launch a, a, a visual campaign, sort of bring a, a sort of an a, a sort of an awareness campaign of the program, the vlog, and the uh, TV network. So. Uh, there's a number of things still left to do. We are still pretty much in launch mode. Uh, we haven't sort of taken off yet, but you know, it, 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 we're in. We're inside of ooh, I think 30 days. Uh, no, we were six, about 60 days. So we began late August. No, we began in late July. So July. So let's say August. September. We've got about two months. Six, we got we have a, a good solid 60 days into the vlogging. It does take a while for things for the search engines to pick things up, and it does take a while for people to start viewing, you know, clicking on and sort of seeing what's going on. Uh, in terms of, is this something that they like, they don't like, or you know, it's not that I'm going to change the format or anything like that. It's people say, well, well, someone that does like something, you need to change, but not necessarily. A lot of times, it's, it's simply a marketing issue where you haven't reached enough eyes. And therefore, you're not getting the views. So uh, rather than simply changing the format uh, to doing what everybody else does, then you just simply sort of have to adjust uh, your marketing strategy, how you make people aware of what you're doing. And uh, that comes in, an, in a variety of different techniques that you can be doing. And so... I will certainly be exploring that. It looks like I have, have collabor uh, people who want to collaborate with me uh, to do a collab. These are sponsorships uh, that could come into play here that could help uh, uh, pad the uh, the income. So <clears throat> this is how we end. This is how we get to the end of things. And is it? If you're going out for new challenges, you're a person who likes challenges, who likes to sort of explore the edge, well, this is it. And once again, it's not an issue of whether I feel like I'm worth it or not. And I think looking at the Yowie vlog, even though they say their motto is, you are worth it, I think what they're trying to do is they're trying to help other people be more positive uh, about their own position that, 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 you know, but you watch the way they work themselves. It's not an issue that uh, that they're only going to be staying positive about in terms of being, you know, uh, that they're worth it. A large chunk of it is 
more the word of perseverance. You know, you have to stick through things, even though they seem tough, that you have to sort of stick through things in order for some, some form of benefit to come from the other end. In other words, during the struggle, during the challenge, it's going to be rough, but on the other side, once you succeed, and success, uh, uh, succeeding is sort of, a, again, a perspective. You know, how much you succeed really, you know, depends on how you view things. So some, uh, you know, set your expectation is low so that you don't <laughs> mess up. <laughs> um, it doesn't mean set your expectation is low that you're not going to do anything more, but, you know, in terms of the, you will call your immediate goals. Anyways, that's it for now. I will see you in about an hour and a half uh, when we open the vlog again.